Hey guys, so today we are going to be swatching the entire collection of the Superstay ink crayons from Maybelline. So if you guys are curious to see swatches, both arm and lip swatches, and hear my thoughts, then just keep watching. So Maybelline was kind enough to send over almost the entire collection of these. I've already purchased several of them and I have been loving them. Um, these are the Super Stay Ink Crayons from Maybelline. It says high performance, low maintenance lip color is the latest addition to the Super Stay lip range, a fan favorite for the long wear lips. The soft bullet lip crayon provides up to eight hours of saturated matte color made to last and includes a built in sharpener for convenience. It says go ahead, put Super Stay Ink Crayon to the test and watch your glam game last. They retail for $9.49. Hashtag Super Stay Ink Crayon. So they look like this. That light patch behind me is gonna drive me crazy. Okay, well ignore the light behind me. The sun is coming through the skylight and I can't do anything about that right now. I'll just try to cover it as best I can, but they look like this. They come with a pointed tip on the one end and a little sharpener on the other, which is very convenient and I didn't know that when I first purchased them. Um, but the sticker does say sharpener on the bottom, which is nice to know. They previously had launched these, which are the Superstay Matte Inks and these are kind of like a liquid lipstick. Um, and these dry down kind of sticky, but they do last a very, very long time. These, which I did not know were matte, it doesn't say matte anywhere on the packaging, but on the um, PR material, it does say it is a matte lip color. Now, I don't know if I necessarily agree with that, but let's jump into swatches. So the first one is number five, and it's Live on the Edge. Here's number five, Live on the Edge. So here's number five. Now I would say these are not completely matte. You can disagree with me if you would like, but I think these have like a bit of like a satin finish. They're much, much more comfortable than the um, Superstay matte inks. They're not sticky. I feel like they have just a little bit of glide to them. So I personally prefer these over the matte lip inks. If you're looking for longevity, I'd say go, go with this one. If you're looking for comfort, I'd say go with this. Next we have 15. I'm missing number 10. This one is Lead the Way. This is one, the first one that I bought. I've been using it for quite a while, so you can see the edge is kind of worn down. But here is number 15. This one's one of my personal favorites. It's like a nice kind of like a mauve pink shade. Here's number 15, Lead the Way. I feel like it's like a your lips but better shade for my skin tone. Love this one. Next we have 20, Enjoy the View. This is another one that I've been using myself. I really love this one. Can you guys see when I'm applying this? There's just a bit of gloss to them. They're not fully matte. Like there's a bit of shine to the lips. They're not a fully matte lip product, even though that's how they're advertised. I would disagree with that categorization. Here's number 20, Enjoy the View. It's like a warmer, kind of your lips but better shade. Here it is on the lips. Next up we have 25 Stay Exceptional. This looks like a nice pink shade. It's like a slightly deeper, slightly cooler version of number 15. Here is number 25. Next up we have 30, which looks like a bright pink. This is Seek Adventure. It's more of like a bubblegum pink. Not a big fan of this shade, but here is number 30. 
For some reason, I just don't like these pinks on me. I don't know why. I like them a little deeper, but this like mid-tone pink, not for me. Next up, we have a nice bright pink. This is 35, Treat Yourself. Here is a 35. Next up, we're moving into the oranges. This one is 40, Laugh Louder. If you hear my cat in the background, he's trying to get in. Here is 40, Laugh Louder. Next up, we have 45, Hustle in Heels. That's cute. Here's 45, Hustle and Heels. It's like a nice like strawberry red, like a hint of pink. Next up we have a deeper red. This one is 50, Own Your Empire. That's like a nice blue tone red right here. This is a really rich, deep blue tone red. Again, this is 50. Moving on to berry tones, next we have 55, Make It Happen. Nice berry tone. This is 55. Next up we have 60, Accept a Dare. I feel like I never did that with Truth and Dare. I always did Truth. Such a chicken. Here's number 60, Accept a Dare. Finally, we have number 65, Settle for More. Here is 65, settle for more. Okay, so let me talk about the formula of this product. While I don't think that it is fully matte, like you can see some sheen on the lips. So I would say this is more of like a satin matte. It does dry down. It is not transfer proof. So if you're looking for like a transfer proof product, I would say go with their Matte Lip Inks, these last almost all day long. They do stay a little bit sticky, but they don't transfer like this one. If you want something more of like a soft lip pencil type of feel, that's what you get with this. There's like a little bit of glide, 
really nice color it will last through a meal or so probably not all day wear I've worn this one at least half a dozen times already and while it lasts on the outside like a lip liner it fades on the inside like where you're drinking eating etc so do I like these absolutely this is like my new go-to lip product I think they're beautiful I love the color I love how comfortable they are to wear I love how easy they are to wear um, I have not tried the sharpener yet so let's give that a try now on the one that I've used the most which is number 15 It does work. And we have a nice point again. So that is a nice point again. So that is quite nice. I'm liking having this black backdrop. You guys can see things a lot more clearly against a dark backdrop than I feel like you could against the white. So let me know your thoughts of the black black backdrop. It's a mouthful to say. But I think that it works really well for demonstrating product and for showing you things better than the lighter one did. And it also helps with keeping the light nice and bright instead of focusing on a brighter background and making me shadowy. It kind of keeps everything in the foreground nice and bright and well lit. So I'm liking that. But anyway, back to the product. I really like this. I like the built-in sharpener. I love how affordable they are, the $9. I like the shade range. However, if you're looking for like a deep, deep burgundy, there's nothing really darker than this one and if you're looking for a true nude there's nothing like this shade so if they were going to expand their colors I would say go with a deeper like brown burgundy shade and I would say go with like a more nudie tone shade like this those would be my only suggestions but I really like these products so I hope you guys found this swatch video and try on video helpful of the new Maybelline Superstay ink crayons if you did enjoy this video remember to give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and as always I will see you in my next video bye guys